We're starting. Great no. Great no. Great no. Does this mean we started? Welcome everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. I'm eating cheese. It. Next. <laughs> I like. I'm I like these some intros. Damn we water. just we start them way too early. <laughs> it's like we weren't ready. Yeah. I was sucking on the nippy of this thing like a little, little pity sticking out. I thought you were signaling to all of us that you were ready to be live on the internet for uh, millions. Of yeah, I started lactating to judge. Back to the. F we make fun noise with it too. Should we oh, do no, a sync clap? I can't do it under pressure. For the people, let's do a sync clap live on the Absolutely. podcast. Well, we have to do well, it for our editor. Do that to my cog, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. The editor is more important. <laughs> Dude, editor, this isn't a glitch. I'm turning my mic up because oh. instead of clapping for the sync audio, I'm gonna bite into a cheese it in sync. You ready? <laughs> yep. Okay. Someone count it down. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> that means that you were late as hell, dude. <laughs> Your timing's off, brother. I think it might be Discord. I feel like I was right on time. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> What's the point of even clapping? <laughs> <laughs> Editor, offset McNasty's audio by like four seconds this whole part. No, Did we do, do like four time? minutes. Editor, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking a pussy. Somebody, I forget who that was, but yeah, somebody was delayed like significantly on one of our podcasts. They like laugh I think, during oh, very yeah. inappropriate moments and shit. I think one time yeah. we had a, an error where... The editor, who maybe it was McNasty at the time he was editing, but it was like Probably. the audio. One of our audios was from an old podcast, oh, but yeah. everyone oh. else's was perfectly fine or something. That was yours. Having a, having a completely different conversation. Was it my audio? <laughs> yeah, it was your audio. Like all of a sudden, you would I just also, laugh out of nowhere. Dude, I also remember when uh, this wasn't even that long ago when we did an ad and uh, soup. Thought they would edit the ad down, but they didn't. <laughs> so oh, the ad, yeah, it's, like, it's just like awkward breaks and like, I don't know, it's uh, <sighs> all right. And then you like say it again. <laughs> I was not Dude, reading a script at all, people. It doesn't happen. No. Dude, that was Off like the with a raid ad I did a long time ago. I don't know how this slipped through both of us. That's how I knew they stopped watching the ads. I, uh, it was when they put out like the update of like it was like super mega battle arena or some fucking dumb shit. That's not a real update. Sounds it's, about right. <sighs> it was something stupid like that. But I was really like reading off the ad and I was like, and they update they updated the what the fuck is even that? And then I just read the name of it with like a question mark at the end, and they just and then it like cut to me saying it completely normal. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just, just left it in. What is this horse shit? shit? This looks horrible. Fuck this. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck is he even mad? What does that I've, mean? I do that, like, a lot with ad reads. I'll just get to a point oh, all like, the time. Why, why would oh, I say yeah. that? And then I have to say it, and I'm like, God. So corny. <laughs> yeah, it's like the bolded and underlined text. Yeah. Like, must, must say. Must be said. Yeah, yeah. Must <laughs> say this. It's I like, oh, I play this so game much. eight hours a day, and I fucking eat, breathe, sleep this game. I, I mean, I'd rather them, like, be upfront about the shit they're ridiculously strict about than, like, I mm -hmm. the ad I did with Meta... Made me want to eat my own teeth. Dude, I, <laughs> it was so... They literally just said, go have fun, be yourself. I was like, dude, that's uh, sick. I love when, yeah, I love when brands do that. How the naive. notes I got <laughs> were like, it was a 40-page pamphlet of oh the God. stuff that oh, needed yeah. to be changed. I was just like, ugh. Dude, they even like... I, I, I couldn't even acknowledge that minions existed because I had the little like goggles on and when you get too close to a wall, it'll make them transparent so you can like see through so you don't like bump into a wall. And it'll show up in my recording, so I like went like this and looked down at my recording, and I got too close to the wall, and there was just my big ass like stuffed minion. It was like two inches away from my face, and it looks so funny. They're like, please do not mention any other IPs in this. It's like, Are, bro, come is on. Meta <laughs> competing with the minions? With minion, brand? Yeah. Either the like hell? people sit down, they're like, I'm either buying a minion plushie today or the Meta Three Quest. I don't <laughs> yeah. know which one is it. <laughs> It's like yeah, in movies know, where they can't silly. like say the name of a brand unless they pay for it. So they'll yeah. go to like Bonker Cug or something instead of Burger King. <laughs> Bonker Cug. Flopper, Bonker Flopper Jr. Please don't mention Bonker Cug in your head. <laughs> Please don't mention that on our podcast. People people might go to Bonker Cug instead of listening instead to the Goons, Goons podcast. Yeah, I'm just getting like an elite gamer subs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gamer I wonder why brands do that. Do brands think that people are that like robotic? Like, like we're yeah, just gonna like get our wallet out, wallet out to the last brand we heard, no matter what it is. Yeah. They yeah. absolutely like, think that humans are. They just think people are so NPCs. fucking stupid that they're someone's gonna see a minion <clears throat> toy in your camera and be like, "Oh, 
Fuck everything. I gotta go I'm watch the whole <laughs> discography right now. <laughs> Blow their brains out I'm on the sold, spot bro. because two big companies showed up. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's bizarre. I like I get it for like legal reasons. If I like promoted it, if I was like, oh look, a minion, you guys should all own a minion. Like that's different, but just the fact that it exists at the same time as the Meta Quest Three, why does that? Why does that cause issues? Yeah. It could not be on op- weird. farther poles of the spectrum of things. Yeah, I, would buy. I don't know. So yeah, it's, it's, I mean, one's one's fucking twenty dollars and filled with Chinese industrial waste. One is you know two thousand dollars and well, I guess kind of the same. Filled with Chinese industrial waste. <laughs> okay, now yeah. I see why they did. Okay, now it makes sense. They're competing for that extra waste. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think I understand it now. Okay, val- valid criticism. Honestly, are you guys valid. gonna get the uh, the new Apple Pro Vision thing? No, Go- goggles, dude, whatever it looks they're so called. Funny. Goggles. I like, the, I like seeing the people on the on the subway just being like this with yeah, their hands. Yeah, just fucking twiddling like around and stuff. Hell. I like the meme yeah. of the guy driving down the road and he's holding a beer and he's gambling and watching football <laughs> <laughs> while he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> Peak male performance. I mean, I, I like how do the cops like deal with that? Because if you just illegal. have it on your face, but it's like transparent, is it still distracted driving you? It has to be illegal. I would hope it would be. I mean, if like, I'm getting I mean, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not watching the road. I mean, I'm. I'm, yeah. I'm have you seen the meme? Have you seen like the video of that like or like screenshot of that like chubbier stuff. dude like wearing it? No, it's like, kind of like a chubby white dude. And then later on, he posts a screenshot of him being pulled over. Oh, yeah, not surprised. I've seen the guy that was driving his. I don't. I, mean, well, I think who, it is. I've seen, them in I've seen. I've seen a lot of people wearing them. Yeah. Really? Just out yeah, and about? It's, it's been out for it, like no, not like I haven't seen Twitter. people in person. I just mean like on you know on the oh, internet. Okay. I've seen. You know, I haven't seen anybody in person. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's I, the dude in the Tesla wearing it is just like that is just peak annoying tech bro, yeah. like just almost insufferable kind of person. <sighs> Yeah, can you imagine a conversation <laughs> with that guy? You'll hear about each piece of technology in about 60 seconds uh, from that guy. Dude, I guarantee that guy would try to convince you to have a Bitcoin mine within oh, an yeah. hour. I think we should all buy one and wear it on the podcast next week. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? We, we should do the podcast podcasting. with the Apple Vision on and see what all we can distract ourselves with from our job. Dude, we're just going to sit there in <laughs> silence just fucking... Doing all I'll sorts of goofy stuff. Yeah. I will be gambling in Dude's my Dude's just headset. sitting there like this. Just, yeah, just <laughs> Buffalo! <laughs> just pulling oh, a slot. Man. Just craps throwing a fucking dice around in your, in your room by yourself. Slapping the shit out of my dealer because she's cheating. That bitch. <laughs> Dude, I like gambling with you. I, well, I like watching you gamble, I should say. We haven't actually got to gamble in person together. But oh, it's when I got to time. watch you gamble online, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was a core do memory. Those just, those online casinos are fun as shit, bro. I love how uncomfortable you made the dealer, though. We're like, yeah. please help. I fell out of my wheelchair. Nobody is around to help me. And then places oh, a yeah, bet. <laughs> and then puts a bet down. Because they can't do anything about it. They have to read the chat because they're paid to interact with people. So you could just fuck with them. It's fun. They just look at it and you can tell she'd like glance over and be like, I love the clip on Twitter of that dude. Uh, He's talking with the dealer. He's like kind of shit talking him or whatever. And the dealer's like, that's why you're gambling at 3 a.m. on a Tuesday, you fucking loser. Or whatever he says. They should be be free to return the shit. (laughs) Oh, absolutely. They should be allowed like full contact verbal slurs towards you. Yeah. It's a good time. (laughs) Mm. You just have to gamble in person now. You got to come to Vegas next year. We're going to do... we're gonna watch the robots battle and then bet on that. Like little it rock up a little em, sock em robots, robots, guys. Yeah, no, or? like you know the they used to have it on. It used to always be on Sunday mornings for some oh, reason. Oh, people like, build their own two kinds, robots. Yeah, there was like two kinds oh. of kids on Sunday morning. Either the kids who had to like go to church or the kids who got to watch the robots. I was battle. the robot kid. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, they just make like a Roomba with like a chainsaw on the front and a gun. Yeah, uh, <laughs> maybe not those a gun, are cool. but you, you get the just <laughs> yeah. They're sick. Yeah, you Audience can uh, take cover. Literally the last day, like as we were driving to the airport, uh, me and Smitty noticed like this bus went by and it had it had the advertisement for it and it said that I think it was like every whatever every Sunday or every Saturday night. So we uh, we definitely have to go gamble on that. That'd be so much fun watching those little things blow up in person. Oh, that would be cool as <laughs> fuck. Like horse, yeah, to like, like pick a gambling a horse racing. What is girl? that called? What's the name of that? I think they're called battle bots. I could be wrong though. I think battle I think bots. that's what they're called. Mm. Something like that. We should see if we can build our own and submit it. A goon, a goon, we should sponsor one. A goon-sponsored robot. We should have it sling puke and feces. I think it would be a piece of shit. Yeah. 
It just shits and throws up and has like a, a pickle attached to a fork on the end of it or something. <laughs> it's made out of like styrofoam. <laughs> Held together with a bunch of grandpa's ashes tubs. Just melded into one that would conglomerate. Actually be sick. That's just smart. We should ask G Subs if they could build us a Gamer Subs battle bot. <laughs> They'd we'll probably do it, dude. They'd probably do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, listen, if Eric got the Wolf of Wall Street to come hang out with us, I think a battle bot's a, an easy one. Yeah. Did you have a chug jug there, or is that just a normal <laughs> cup in your hand? What the fuck is I'm that? Just, I'm just so unbelievably short. <laughs> Is that a like normal the, oh. size cup, dude? That it looked like you were holding like a fucking gallon of milk when you were it drinking is, that. It is. It's a what chug jug from Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite. That looks so much bigger. How, how many milliliters is that puppy? Yeah, it's the sixty-four. How many? How do you? Uh, this. I think this one's thirty-two. I have it's that one 32 too. Thirty-two-ish. Yeah. yeah. This one's good. It's got the little mommy nipple. So how many <laughs> ounces is this? <laughs> uh, this one's about twenty-six crackers. That's a lot of crackers. That's how many? People I would argue know. that's too many crackers. Yeah. A couple of crackers in that box, if I do say so myself. I ju also just remembered the interacting with that waitress when I called our whole table crackers and she awkwardly laughed. Oh, yeah, dude. I forgot I even, about that. Did I even say that? I don't even remember if we talked about that. We didn't I, talk I about that. This, no. I was, it was the balloon dinner. It was the very, very, very drunk, inebriated dinner. And uh, know, she brought out. Yeah, she brought out the extra inebriated one. There was, like, <laughs> levels to them each. But, uh, yeah, she brought us, uh, I think you guys got, like, escargot or something weird. I don't know who didn't, who just never tried it, so they just ordered a bunch for, I don't know, people to fucking try it if they haven't yet. Um, and she was like, oh, I almost forgot the crackers. And I was like, man, please, we have enough of those at this table. And she just <laughs> No, like, you said we was, have enough crackers black. at this table well, she to did. our black waitress. <laughs> I said it. And I she, said man she, like, first. Didn't I was laugh. trying to like, I was trying to make it like, like I wanted it to be a joke, but like I wanted to actually say it. She just kind of like, <laughs> yeah, casual, casual racism. Am I and allowed to did, laugh at this? She, is, she did not she laugh. Was, she was black. She, I, she was I allowed laughed. to laugh. I was laughing I at Mark yeah. like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? She, <laughs> she did not laugh. She was like, I would have gave her the pass. Her and Nelson just made eye contact, probably and just walked away. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't I just randomly thought about that and just popped into my brain. It's like I'm just getting random flashbacks, like, you know, the opposite of that. So Raven, where I just go into like a trance and then I remember mm -hmm. one random thing from Texas. Yeah. So you maybe in like you repressed that one <laughs> in about six months. I'm sure we'll piece together the full story and then we can we can retell it. Yeah, I, will, I, I do remember that now. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very awkward situation. She did not laugh. She didn't laugh. No, she, she heard him, didn't even acknowledge it, just kind of like stood there for a minute and then just walked like away. A, there was kind of like a... Eh. Saying, ain't no way this cracker just said that. Ain't no way. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm supposed to be brown. I just don't go outside. All right, I'm halfway there. I can say half the word. All right, anyway, There's enough what crack at this table. <laughs> what do we want to talk about? Then she gets super excited. <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. All right. That's, uh, All right. All right. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know what's, what's uh, going on. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, what's, go what's going on yeah. with everyone else? How's everyone doing? Ain't shit. Ain't shit. You're eating shit. Ain't, ain't, ain't shit. shit. Ain't shit. Ain't okay. But shit. Ancient. Uh, I'm adopting a little cat. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. What's his name cool. again? Isn't it Bob? Uh, Bob. Bob. Everyone, dude. I didn't even get to name him. Everyone, I I tweeted about him. Everyone's like, of course you named him after a minion. It was just meant to be. I didn't even name the guy. Uh, I got to go meet him for the first time yesterday. He, uh... Did you see it on, like, Facebook Marketplace or something? Like, how'd you see this cat? <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's, a, it's like a uh, animal rehabilitation place. My mom and I brought, okay. like, a kitten there, like, two years ago. Yeah, it's for cats that do meth and stuff. Uh, it's rehab. <laughs> they rebuild cats? That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Me and my mom brought a kitten we found there, like, two years ago. My mom's been keeping up with them ever since, and, uh, she sent me this, this little stupid-looking picture he when he was a kitten and uh they just got him and he had he has no tail and he looks like he's been struck by lightning his hair is just like dude he's so puffy like you got a it's not even cat. like it's not even like it's fluffy it, it actually looks like it has been struck by lightning looks like it a is just like cat yeah it, it literally like dude it looks yeah. like it eats meth by the pound it is a, a funky looking little guy. It looks like it's but, wet uh, and dry at the same time. <laughs> yeah, but I saw it. And I was like, dude, I love that guy. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it is. I get, I'm just, uh, like I now ended cats? up with two, two cats that have been abused. So I don't know. Maybe I just like 
the abuse easier to manipulate. You also seem anyway, to attract um, cats that have like <laughs> accountant names. Yeah, you got Doug and Bob. Bob Doug and Bob. <laughs> well, I named Doug myself, but Bob is uh, Bob was not named by me. You got but, like uh, you're gonna have someone come over and you're gonna be like, hold on, let me go put Doug and Bob in their cage real quick. And yeah. you're like, what? <laughs> well, that's like, dude, I, one of my the first time I heard a cat with a people name, I was fucking. I don't know why. I just never even thought of putting an, a human name on animals. And uh, I was on Xbox 360 playing, I think it was MW2 or some shit, way back in the day with one of my friends. And he's like, oh yeah, shit, sorry Steve. And I was like, Steve? Like, I know his family. I was like, is that like your uncle or something? He's like, no, that's my cat. I actually kicked him. I was like, bro, what? Steve the cat. You like, talk to him like a normal person, too. My he's bad, like, oh Steve. yeah, shit, Yo, sorry Steve. <laughs> yeah, as if that Steve's like, like yeah, a 4.30 a.m. adult <laughs> swim show. Steve the cat. It's really obscure. Nobody watches it. But, uh, yeah, so I, I texted the, the lady that had Bob. She she fosters 20 fucking cats. She has 20 oh cats God. in her house. Yeah, oh, dude, I, I, I stink. She gets so <laughs> no, it weirdly does not no. smell in there. I was shocked. Because I, I, yeah, I walked in there and I was like, I was getting ready to be covered in hair and ass. I would probably last like 10 seconds in that house, dude. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm not even like really you allergic not to that cats. Quick, and I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so much pussy. That just, <laughs> just makes me fucking blam. Yeah. But uh, sh she was like, oh, yeah, and, you know, um, I know you want to meet him and stuff, but just, you know, be wary. He might not make the first best impression or the best uh, first impression because he's a little bit shy at first, but he'll it's open up racist. quickly, whatever. And I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, no worries. I just want to make sure he at least, you know, doesn't fucking hate me before I adopt him. And I got there, and she's like, "All right, let me uh, let me go look for Bob." And I look down, and this little fucking tailless idiot is just looking up at me with two toys next to him and one in his mouth. I was like, "Bro, he's packed and ready to go already. I have to adopt <laughs> this guy." So, yeah, oh, I sat on the floor sweet. with him, just hung out with him. Yeah, he was uh, he was a cool little dude, super fucking playful. And then he took a little nap on my arm, and I was like, "All right, yeah, I'm I'm definitely adopting this guy." He's so. the one. You bring him home, and he's gonna be hanging yeah. from the rafters and doing cocaine. And dude, him and Doug, and him and Doug are absolutely gonna just gonna be fucking. Shit. Yeah, just gonna be doing smoking cigars shit. and playing poker yeah. in your basement, dude. I'd you be okay. With, I'd probably, really I'd probably join in with that. That'd be sick, yeah. Yeah, I'd be all right with. Yeah, I'd be okay with cat poker. I'd probably dust them. They're not very smart. <laughs> body those idiots. Take their whole. True, if you accounts. lose, you could just kill them. So easy to bluff a, a pussy in poker. <laughs> bluff a pussy in poker. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> sentence. Uh, yeah. Anyway, dude, do you Bob have is coming on Saturday. No, I never. I'm allergic to anything that has hair. So I've never been able You're to. You're a bird. Have any. Are you bald? Am I? No, I. I'm Is probably. Your family bald. Yeah, we're all. We all look like Walter. <laughs> like skinhead sense. family. Dude, I can't imagine just living next to a family full of everyone being bald. <laughs> Mom, dad, brother, sister, everybody. I would bald think like. There was like a nuclear bomb buried below somebody's house. <laughs> You're something. living next to a bunch like, of follow going? ghouls. They have yeah. no <laughs> eyebrows, no facial <laughs> yeah. hair, completely bald, <laughs> walking around. Yeah. <laughs> fucking I am legend monsters. Yeah. Bro, it Ew. sucks though, because I didn't used to be allergic to dogs. That's something my body was like, you know what? Here's a trait we should obtain later. Oh, did in you life. get it like during puberty? Yeah. yeah. As I, probably around 15, I started not being able to be around dogs and stuff, so it blows. Just not all dogs either. or like certain kind of dogs? Most dogs. I've been around dogs that are okay. There's like some more hypoallergenic ones, I guess, but. Yeah, dogs you can get some. Shed. I aren't like uh, all pugs, cats. shih tzus. Yeah. Things like that are hypoallergenic, but then you gotta yeah. own a little yappy dog. Yeah, I don't. I see. I like like a, a lab or a retriever or a shepherd or something like that. But I pro I'm allergic as shit to all of them. Dude, you know? golden retrievers are psychos. I love those motherfuckers, but when they're puppies, they are yeah. wild. My friend Nick just got. Well, I, I mean, it's probably like eight months old now. But dude, he literally he ate the siding off like their walls, like the <laughs> the. I don't even know what it's called. Should I get the worms out? Like the, the baseboards. Fucking, yeah, like the, the the piece that runs along the wall right before yeah, you actually the hit the, the drywall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he has literally ripped those off the wall of the house. That's everywhere. impressive, yeah. actually. And he's just uh, like that's a yeah, he's just, do that shit. Just until insane. I him. Yeah, yeah. They they like they have him like going to a trainer and stuff like that. So he he is yeah, definitely getting better. Yeah, I probably should have done that. I just put Rebel's <laughs> nose up to it and fucking spanked him. I like, might don't need to do come that. over and. I mean, if you don't do it anymore, yeah. Trim off your wall, soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how I taught like have you guys taught your pets any tricks like how to do things like how to sit stand do your taxes anything like that mm. no taxes but the rest uh, I, I taught my old parent like my parents old dog that guy was a fucking idiot though he was a big fat shih tzu 
And uh, they got him on a discount because he weighed like 10 pounds over what he was supposed to because he was massive. That dog was just gross, man. It so had you got a, a dis- they got a discount because he was fat? <laughs> yes. Literally, <laughs> they got him. Got- no, dude, he was just this gross little dog. Um, and he, uh, later in life, apparently it's somewhat common in Shih Tzus, so I think we just need to nuke Shih Tzus in general. But uh, he grew literally like a fucking fingernail out of his rib cage. What? And it was Ooh. like on his skin. There was like a nail. A Ooh. fingernail? Yeah, it's like a little it? dog claw. No, the the, fuck? every time he went to the vet, they just fucking yoink it off, and it would grow back. It was disgusting. That is that shit was nasty. Oh. That is, yeah, apparently it's like not crazy uncommon for Shih Tzus to have that. So like, we just gotta oh. start over. We gotta start over with do- start over with wolves. Are they around make like our some way fucking back nuclear fallout or something? Yeah. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I remember I tried teaching that dog to roll over, and he did not understand it. Uh, he literally he he couldn't like figure out the smooth roll he would jump up fall on his side like it was loud enough for you'd hear like china in the cupboards like moving around you'd hear glass rattling from this fat fucking idiot dog trying to roll over and then he would literally just like freak out till he was on his back and then get up it was just the worst trick i've ever seen dude it was stupid little bit awful Just, yeah, he literally, just, he looked like I showed flashing lights to somebody with epilepsy. It was just, it was insane. <laughs> oh, that's the saddest shit ever, seeing dogs who have seizure disorders, man. That's My so dog sad. has that. Aww. Really? Yeah. That's a real I thing. I can't wait to show a flashing oh, yeah. light to your dumb dog. Well, she's not, that's not how it works. She just has them randomly. But she doesn't have them very often. What I do you even gotta, do about that? What? Yeah, what do you I just do? Gotta, I happens? just pick her up and hold her until it goes away so she doesn't, like, stumble around, like, bump her head on shit. Yeah, hmm. just throw her against sure the wall until she yeah, stops. make it worse. I just start viciously <laughs> shaking her. Bonk her in the head. <laughs> Stop shaking! There's no reason to be shaking! <laughs> Calm Maybe down! She just swallowed Calm down! A- <laughs> Maybe she just, like, swallowed a cell phone a few years back, and every once in a while it gets a phone call. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know what caused that. I just know that the doctor said that uh, because she only has them, like, so few and far in between, that it's not really, like, I don't think it's going to kill her. Like, usually dogs that have, like, daily seizures are, like, four or five a week. Like, they usually yeah, eventually they crazy. die. Yeah, I mean, there's some sort of neurological issue, I imagine. Yeah. Sometimes um, sometimes it'll pfft, last, like, ten seconds. And then she'll just, like, like act like it never even happened. She's just this. like me. <laughs> <laughs> just like Millie Dog. <laughs> but, yeah, and then sometimes uh, she's had ones for, that have lasted pretty long, a couple minutes. You think it's because you fart on her? Probably. Huh? It probably doesn't help her. <laughs> no, she was said. You've been like melting a, her prefrontal cortex for it's years. It's a side effect of you <laughs> farting on her. Yes. The burn, on her. burn part of her brain. The wires have been burned. That is still singed. just the wildest thing to go just show up in the goons chat and just see like eight videos of McNasty farting on his dog. <laughs> and the dog just taking it. <laughs> Dude, the dog just literally ate those, just took those right to the chest. <laughs> It's so funny because, like, you can clearly see in the video that she's, like, in front of me, and I don't fart from my penis tip, so <laughs> I'm not farting directly on her. <laughs> she was within two she feet was, of your she ass. She was outside of the blanket, too. Is that like you were giving that defense in court or something? <laughs> yeah. The your blanket honor. isn't a fucking I don't fart suit. out of my penis, Your Honor. <laughs> well, case dismissed. <laughs> As you can see, I did not fart on the dog. It does not come out of my penis. <laughs> I mean, oh, you were you were putting some beefers out though, so it don't have to come. I out was, your dick. I was beefing, It don't yeah. have to come out your dick. <laughs> Dude, those sounded like hot too. They sounded like yeah. A, yeah. They, oh, I, like if the you temperature put your definitely hand, raised a few if, Celsius. <laughs> if you put your hand near that, it would have felt like a a hot horse breath just breathing yeah. on you. Oh. Pretty much. <laughs> I told you guys that my first word I ever learned how to say on this planet was hot. Right? I told you guys. Really? About that. Really? No, yeah. I don't think no. so. I never told y'all that. Why? I swear I've told this story before. Well, I kept wanting to reach for a light bulb, and my dad would tell me no, but I kept doing it, and he was like, all right, you little fucker, you want to tr- keep trying to grab for the light bulb? And I grabbed it, and I said, hot. And they said that <laughs> that was my first word. It wasn't mama or dada. It was it fucking was hot. 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 It, was, it was hot. It was a trauma it was response. My, it was dumb. It was dumb <laughs> piece like of a, shit, like baby. Like a Randy Marsh, hot, where you go, hot, 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 hot. No, I think it was just hot. And then they said that, like, every time after that, that, no matter what I touched, I'd be like hot. Like I touched the table <laughs> and I'd go hot. I would fart and put my hand behind my diaper and go <laughs> hot. Oh God. <laughs> That's soup lore. You're a weird you. little guy. 
And now you touch first. dudes and you say, hot. Hot. Yeah. Hot. Talking, don't talk about a one-year-old touching dudes. Come on, dude. I said now. Oh, my. F- oh, he did oh. say now. He did say now. I don't know what my first word was. Yeah, I have no idea. I should ask I my, parents. my parents. Know either. I think mine was Papa, which is what I call my grandpa still. Huh. So. Yeah, I have no normal, idea. Mine was probably mine was probably lame. Yeah. Mine was probably like bomb vest Al-Akbar. or some fucking stupid. Bomb vest. Yeah. Aluak bar. <laughs> Praise Allah. Motherfucking. Like that. <laughs> Bloody. You are fucking. You are shit fucking. Sparks first just, words. Or what's out? Imagine if you get like a three year old. It's just <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Blog's first words were, baby, I love you, we've become wife. No, it was just an, it was just an entire talking. link to a Telegram chat. Dude, so now all your giveaway. friends can come up to you and say, show Bob. And it makes sense. Show Bob. Oh, yes. <laughs> hold show his dumb Bob. Ass Bob. <laughs> yeah, I'll show Bob next podcast. I'll you need to get another cat and name it Vagine. Bob and Vagine. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be, a, that'll be a, a nickname I can throw in for Doug. He's only six. He won't. He'll be fine. He won't be confused about Vagine at all. <laughs> it's close to Doug your name, if you buddy. sound it out properly. Yeah, no, true. Vagine. 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 Yeah, maybe not. It's okay. I barely call him his name. I just he uh, he responds to a word. I don't think we're allowed to say. Cause yeah, go ahead. I have YouTube a couple of those I call my cat. Yeah, but he responds. He comes running. And he knows his name. It's not a, an ethnic slur before everyone thinks I'm calling <laughs> my black cat an N word. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. We can't say the word. We're going to get in trouble. What? Uh, oh. I just don't want to get the podcast demonetized. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. I get Use it. Use code goons. The R. The, it's the, 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 the idiot word. <laughs> the oh, idiot word. I, uh, yeah. The idiot I, I know word. a lot of people who respond to that, actually. I'll yeah. come running if you say it loud yeah, enough. I do as well. <laughs> Myself included. Yeah. <laughs> that also goes for ethnic slurs. You scream them loud enough. I might, co- might come running. I don't know. Like I'm checking out and see what's going on. Investigate the situation. <laughs> like Maybe when you said crackers in. at the table. I was, huh? <laughs> what's up, buddy? It's full attention. <laughs> right here, man. Yeah, you what's and Ethan up? both. That's weird. <laughs> Same. Me and Ethan stood up and saluted. Like I, I said your activation <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys had any like pet emergencies like medical emergencies with your pets where you've had to take them to the hospital or to the pound uh, or uh shoot them in the back of the head in your backyard with a shotgun my hamster. uh we have my hamster as well actually a long time ago you, wow. can, uh, you can go first mcnasty oh mine just she was just uh basically almost already dead okay what is that like why? carrying around an almost dead hamster is the temptation there to like, just squeeze it and it it out of just, <laughs> like make yourself a little because I feel like hand. if I was if I had a hamster in my hand that was like dying I'd be like I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit <laughs> no, a lot of no them. the opposite I just wanted to make sure she was I don't know she was just very frail from not like eating or drinking for like three days straight well and because um, she's a hamster yeah dude I didn't realize hamsters are actually like ten dollars you can anybody yeah, with ten dollars could just get a hamster that's cheap. crazy make a yeah. foot long with like 20 bucks <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're wild but uh <laughs> my hamster a long time ago it was like she she used to have a cage in my room and uh, she started making like panic noises and kept like smacking into the cage so I turned my light on and I was like freaking out and I think she was having a stroke or something I'm not sure but she was like falling over and running in circles and freaking out and my dad's like okay let me see what i can do and he called vets uh i tried to call and see if there was anything i obviously they wouldn't actually do anything but he called anyway and then uh he told me this later i thought he actually found a vet he called pretended that they answered like he just dialed nothing pretended that they answered was like okay i'll bring her over right now and he just took the hamster in the car and drove around till it died and then came over and it's like she didn't <laughs> oh make it. my god <laughs> I feel like though, as well, a parent, like, he did, you kind of have me to, you gotta yeah, have that he, burden a little yeah. bit. Yeah, oh, he, he didn't want me to. He didn't so want me to sad. see it. So he like he pretended he took it to the vet, and he's like, "Yeah, but he didn't. She didn't make it." And I was like, "Oh, fuck, but you he know, took him on his last drive. He tried, just took the little hamster <laughs> for a, a cruise till it fucking died, and then just drove back home. He, he actually just it. put it in his ball and just let it go in the interstate. <laughs> just, like, just good luck, buddy. He just put it under, put it under his tire, and just threw it in reverse for a second. Oh. Dude, my dad no, did something got, similar with I one of my cats. I got the corpse back. One of I your got cats? The, uh, I got, cor- yeah, one of my cats growing up pissed on, like, everything. And uh, oh, my dad man. was like, I put it up for adoption. And then I got older, and my dad was like, I opened the door. 
Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the door was open. What happened was, next was out of my hands. It got, it got adopted <laughs> by the wilderness. What if that cat yeah. came back, like, in a few days, and it's just, like, really tall and fit, holding a knife? Uh, I would probably <laughs> blow my head off. <laughs> yeah. That's a fair so Understandable, understandable reaction. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> but, uh... I didn't even finish the full hamster thing, by the way. It gets even worse. So I, I was sad about the hamster, but uh, not that sad. So my dad brought it back, and uh, this cousin? was like, what? Nothing. Bad joke. Hamster? Oh, I no, you said bad, that. sad. I said, is that your cousin? Oh, bad, ahead, yeah, I'm sad, bad. bad. Sad, but bad, uh, so I, I was I was a little upset, but I wasn't, like, devastated. Um, this was the middle of the night. My dad had to work the next morning, so he's like, all right, uh, let's just keep her in this, this shoe box. And then tomorrow, when I get home from work, we can bury her. And, uh, like, the middle of the day, the next day, I, I think it would have been, been Saturday or some shit, so I wasn't at school. And I used to have these hockey figures, and I remember I had this this cool Matt Sundin one, and then this Ed Belford, just like, he's a goalie and a player. And I was like, fuck, it'd be sick if my hamster stood up with these guys. And his corpse was, like, in rigor mortis, and I just placed it next to the... And just, oh. like, this hamster corpse was standing up, dude. Oh. It was so fucking weird. I like... Probably uh, very, very young. Like, it is a very distant Six memory. Six or seven or as I just, fuck. I just remember my mom being like, yeah, let's not play with the hamster corpse. And came, put it in the box, and then brought it to her <laughs> <a> room. <laughs> you started COVID-23 with that hamster corpse there, dude. Playing dude, hockey just, with the hamster corpse. I didn't move it around. I was just like, boom, it's hockey guy now. It just sat there with, hockey with Matt, Matt Sundin, the Ed Belfort, and... <laughs> And uh, a hamster. <laughs> An untaxidermied hamster. <laughs> Just a rigor mortis the hamster. Man. I bet vets, when they get calls that are like, hey, I got a hamster that's not feeling good, the vets are like, we got another one, boys. They absolutely they just, just throw it at the wall. <laughs> There's 100%. No way that... They're like, yeah, bring it in. And you, they're like, all right, we're going to take it back. And they just get like a little mallet and go, ding. <laughs> nothing that we could do. do. Nothing Sorry, we that'll do. be $500. We did it. We did the best we could. <laughs> One little cartoon bonk on its head. <laughs> yeah. We did the best we could, fellas. Sorry for your loss. They use like one of those, uh, like, uh, those cow guns where they like poke them in the head with like pressure. Oh my god, they use like a fucking Dude, a steel rod mist. that's bigger than the yeah. hamster. Just <laughs> yeah, impales just the just hamster boom, on like a, a shish kebab. Everywhere. They got like a hamster shish kebab on a steel rod back there. Oh just shove it up its oh. ass, it comes Dude, out its mouth. Imagine if you asked it's for dead. the corpse back. You asked for the corpse back so you can bury it yourself and you just get this fucking Yeah, hey, you can use it as like a tool. telescope. It's just stuck on like a number two pencil. It's like a fucking the middle of toilet paper. <laughs> oh no oh it's so sad oh. but, uh, so, so oh. I actually had a funny thing with Doug uh, this wasn't even that long ago but um, Doug was like he was acting really weird he was like you know I, I don't know anybody that's owned a cat like cats have a certain meow when they're like in pain mm -hmm. and it's like this wallow like it's it's kind of horrifying they, they screech and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? And I kept, like, touching certain parts of his body and, like, seeing if he reacted because then you can kind of see where the pain is because I wanted to give the vet, you know, a full heads up of, like, you know, it's his arm, leg, whatever. I grabbed both his paws or, on the front, back, his legs, his ears, pushed on his head, grabbed his jaw, like, pulled it down. He was fine. And then I grabbed his stomach and he, like, freaked out and then sprinted away. So I was like, okay, clearly something's, like, going wrong with his stomach. And then when he ran away... He ran downstairs, so I followed him. He went over his litter box. Dude, had like, I swear to God, it was like a 10 second long fart. Dude, it was <laughs> insane. It just did not stay. It, it literally sounded like <laughs> like a, a, a car tire going flat. It was just like, <laughs> and then towards the end, just that like little, <laughs> and then he just got up, ran up the stairs, like had full on fucking zoomies and looked like a million bucks. He was completely fine again. <laughs> like, Shit. Sometimes gas be doing that, dude. Yeah. If I would have called the vet, and been like, yeah, I think he, like, ate something bad. And they're like, yeah, get him in, in you know, get him here instantly. And then he just fucking farts on them and goes home for $400. Dude, I would have been so <laughs> mad at that piece of shit. Well, he farted on us. That'll be 500 <laughs> Yeah. That story reminds oh, me of so when I live though. with my dad. my Because my dad has a, a cat and uh, the litter box used to be in the living room. And I would chill in the living room. And I remember he went up to the box one time and just, like, he just made this. I guess it was a screech. It was really short. He just went like, Wah! 
and then he blasted diarrhea all over the wall. <laughs> he didn't even diarrhea into the litter box. He just crapped just all, all over the wall. The wall. Yeah. Oh, he had a battle <laughs> cry before the... <laughs> What the just fuck were y'all feeding that cat? Oh I don't God. know. It was my sister's Dude, cats just, responsibility. Cats just have that shit. Cats just have it once in a while. It's fucking... Yeah. It's bad. Whenever Doug it's has it... It's all the hair it, and shit that they lick uh, off themselves. Probably. Yeah. Dude, when, whenever Doug has diarrhea, he has a bad habit of having his his body in the litter box, but his ass outside yeah. of it. So we just fucking blast it on the floor and, like, where his litter box is, is gym flooring. So, like, like I have a gym in my house, but I don't have any fucking equipment because it's, like... All that's in there is this massive empty room and then two litter boxes at the back for Doug's Doug's shit. Doug's all off the side of it. <laughs> no, I, I clean it up instantly. Uh. So I don't leave shit on the floor. But, uh, dude, it's so annoying. When I just, like, go to do his litter at nighttime, and if he had it, I'm like, oh, man. It's just like a fucking yellow pile of nasty yeah. shit on the floor. It's so gross. You know what's funny is my cat's name is, or uh, my sister's cat's name is Joe. It's also another accountant cat. <laughs> I thought, Joe, Joe, no. I thought you were just not going to say anything else about that. Just like, yeah, his name is Joe. Joe. Joe Beans. <laughs> Beans is but, the last uh, did name. I ever, did I ever tell you guys about the automatic litter box situation? Litter robot? The, uh -huh. the litter robot we had, I like the early days one that fired diarrhea all over our laundry room? No, what the <laughs> fuck? Have I ever talked about that on the podcast? I, no, I, I swear This I sounds did. familiar. This sounds familiar, but I don't remember. Okay, so... Okay, it's been a while, so if I talked about it on here, I, I I don't know. I can't fully remember if I told you. I know I told you guys, but I don't when know if it was on the podcast, but we had, uh, we, we, had, we had one of those auto litter boxes, like right, you know, when they started doing auto litter box, you had to like plug it in and shit, and it was, yeah. had this, it, it, had, it was like this big overhang thing, and it would drop down basically like a comb, like style thing but it had kind of a lip on it so it could actually catch it and it would just sweep up and then dump it like back into itself and it, it didn't go that fast if there was a lot of shit in it because obviously the shit would weigh it down uh -huh. but my cat had stomach issues this was like my old old cat and she had diarrhea and it picked up the the diarrhea cat litter mix and then right when it went to go dump it back into itself, it literally just launched a, just like a straight line of just diarrhea and cat litter stuck to the <laughs> furnace. And because the oh, furnace was there, God. the furnace was hot. And dude, it smelled so fucking bad. Oh, but there God. was diarrhea oh. everywhere. Like she just fresh shit. Like it, it like immediately shit. And then warmed sand, it up and then in the oven. And then yeah, dude, it was and then fucking that shit. It was disgusting. Is it oh. like a nuke went off in that room. It was the nastiest shit ever. Not it's like the a, only thing that could have made that so gross. The only thing that could have made that diarrhea worse is, is the raisining of the uh, is the temperature. Yeah, the temperature. Of it. That's just yeah. Like, couldn't have done it on like a down. fridge. Yeah, yeah, no, it just yeah calculated. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fucking nasty. I had one of those automatic, and I, I think I've talked about this before as well. I had one of those automatic uh, litter cleaning things as well and i guess it scared my cat because i think it might have like went off while my cat was in there or something and it was one of those where it like combs the bottom or whatever and i had it like in this corner in my living room like my old house how it was laid out there was like a corner that was like it was like a living room but then the door had like a corner kind of yeah. area where you okay, couldn't, yeah. really, couldn't really there see wasn't or much whatever. Going on. yeah yeah so i had it over there and uh i had a cloth couch in the living room oh no and my cat, like, pissed and shit all over my cloth couch because I guess it was scared of the litter box. Litter Isn't that, box? like, when you first got and that cat? Yes. I think I remember that. Yeah. And the, the, <laughs> the, the like, bottom of the couch was just hanging oh. from piss that had, like, seeped oh. through. Yeah, the, a cloth couch and pets do not go well. No, yeah, I, I literally not. have all leather. for that is That is the closest couch I have to cloth, and it's, like... I don't even know what kind of material. Bob is gonna like a weird... that up. <laughs> no, yeah. uh, apparently, apparently he does not. Uh, he doesn't claw anything. Uh. She, uh, she said he doesn't really like to claw shit. I'm gonna give him a little scratching post next to it anyway. But, but yeah, that's uh, yeah. You gotta, you kind of, you kind of kinda have to have cloth everything for cats and dogs. Dogs aren't leather, like you mean? Or leather, I meant. Don't get cloth. Yeah, dogs aren't like as bad because they'll run to the door but the problem with dogs is so many of them have long hair so they'll shit and they'll get all over their own ass all yeah. over their hair and then they'll just like sit on things and run around the house just covered in fucking 
dog yeah. shit. Scoot their they ass like, on shit. <laughs> yep, I was gonna say, drag their ass full of pinworms all over your Dude, carpet. Dude, you could you could get a, a hairless cat. Those things are ugly as shit, bro. They what? are ugly, dude. I love and those guys. They're little buttholes. If you have sack. hardwoods, dude, their little buttholes uh, get stuck to it, and it goes. <laughs> what? Dude, you never seen like those a, videos? A little no. calamari ring on their butt. What do you mean, dude? I swear, it, hairless cats when they if they like sit on hardwoods or something for too long, it'll suction their buttholes to the floor, <laughs> and when they stand up, it goes. What? I swear dude, to God. Oh I'll, my God. I'll, I'll, I'm trying to find a video. Find a video hairless cat it. butthole stuff. I'm buying a hairless cat. I'm buying a hairless cat tomorrow if true. Search it on Pornhub. <laughs> Don't Google search oh. it. Dude, my my one of my favorite little things I've seen on Reddit in the last like two months was this little hairless cat and he's sitting like this, like all shrimped up, and his fucking belly is hanging out and it's massive. And the person was asking for like advice, like a genuine question. She's like, is oatmeal fat? And then just this picture of oatmeal, this stupid fucking cat with his giant belly out. They look dude, they're so funny looking. Yeah. I I love hairless cats. I've heard they're, they're very like um they're very like tame. <clears throat> like they're never they look really pissed like pissed off. Kind yeah. of like any Cat, really? You either get one that's chill as fuck or one that's an asshole. There's oatmeal yeah. with his little belly out. <laughs> I like the intensity in Soup's eyes as he's looking up cat. I'm, I'm reading a like form about if it's true or not. <laughs> I swear I've seen videos of this. Or maybe I've just imagined it. I don't know. It Did looks you guys so see the, uh... Oh, what? What? Huh? what? Huh? Huh? You, you can go first. Well. Uh... I wasn't gonna say. Yeah. That. Okay. Are you guys gonna fuck her? I thought it was McNasty. I was just saying was the cat looks spankable. Oh, okay. Maybe we could have yeah. skipped over he, that. Yeah, he looks, he looks just like a guy just sitting there. He just looks like a guy. Like a <laughs> what is Sphinx gut. cat ass stamp level thirty four YouTube video? You should click on. I don't know if you should do thirty four and then a cat. Yeah. Oh. Yep. No. <laughs> oh. That's just the no, that is, I think that was a doo-doo stain on the wall. I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, did you hear that Australia has a rat plague right now? No. Hey, no. no way, what? I can't say I'm up to date on my Australia. Are they going to go to war with the rat rats now? Plague. Dude, there is a, it's, it's, it's Karumba, a place in Australia. Um, but uh, thousands upon thousands of dead rats are just washing up on the shore for some reason. This is like the D-Day of rats. They don't know where they're coming from, but like the beach is closed because the stench is so bad. Oh, and it, oh, dude, that's fucking. Hold on, is there a number of rats that they have gotten? The but there crab. is a plague, dude. Where are these rats? I don't understand how they. Would Maybe come they from got the into water. a war with the eleven billion crabs. That you think missing. so? Yeah, Could I be. think that's possible. And they both lost massive casualties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Eleven <laughs> billion. That's a lot of crabs. I can't conceptualize that amount of crab in my head. It is no, very, that's very like a much. scary nightmare amount of crabs. Eleven billion? Like, how much room would that take up at the Red Lobster, like crab tank? That'd be like two of them. Dude, they had to hire. <laughs> they had to hire outside like cities and towns to come help clean all the rat corpses because they did not have enough resources themselves. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't imagine any town being prepared for millions of <laughs> rat corpses washing up on their shore. Dude. Can't imagine. <laughs> Probably not a lot of taxpayer money going to that. <laughs> Finally, yeah, the, was... the rat crisis reserves can be used. <laughs> One guy with oh. fourteen rat shovels is very exciting. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? You just get like reserve. a big rake. You just get a fucking rake and go down the fucking coast with it or something? I I would uh. just, like, push them back into the water and let them float to a different town. Pick them up and just, just launch them as far as you can? <laughs> just have a bunch of people just throwing wet rat corpses as far as they can <laughs> back into the water? Fish will eat rats. I mean, maybe if a bunch of fish will fucking eat them. Yeah, but if the rats have a plague, then I don't know if you'd want the, the fish eating them and then the fish having a plague and then everything has a plague and then we have to go inside and be fat and stupid again. Well, they're way over in somewhere land. It'd be fine if it... Australia? Know. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, <laughs> why Why are rats uh, dead? I don't yeah, know. It doesn't even say. The they don't know. They're they're just, like, they're, they had on that, like a that was, party that was, yacht and it got struck by lightning? That was like a, a few months old and party. there's still no update on where the millions of rats came from. I just a like bunch I, of corpses. I never hear like rats in the ocean. Like It's just like a weird thing. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like maybe they were out band. on a yacht. They Rats were out on a ocean. yacht partying and. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Ratatouille lying. took some of his Pixar money or whatever the fuck made him, and he uh, bought a big yacht, and then they had a they had an incident. Mm -hmm. Could be that. Seems. Yeah, I was, I was looking up some uh, some fun things that's been going on, you know, in the world around us. Since uh, I don't really I don't really listen to any news, um, but a pigeon suspected of being a Chinese spy was shot. That oh, that's was fun. real. <laughs> okay. I don't. How do they? Do they like, <laughs> interrogate him? They uh they found two rings tied to its legs featuring word that appeared to be Chinese, but they were just they were just tracking it. It was just a it was just a fun little science experiment. Yeah. They blew its who brains was, out for no oh reason. Oh my god. Who was tracking hey. who there though? I mean, yeah, real. But that's what the was thing, being like tracked? What do you what is ch the Chinese government going to learn from tracking where a pigeon is broadly in its location? Maybe they want to know what pigeons are eating in your area. I mean, single pigeons in your area. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's two. There's two pigeons. Two Chinese one, pigeons. One was one was not killed. <laughs> one was detained for eight months. Detained? They locked my boy up. What they do you? Where do you detain up. a pigeon? Like, what do you? Uh, <laughs> wings in the air. In a coop. Bitch. Tell me what you know. <laughs> you put him on top of a fucking grocery store <laughs> sign. <laughs> oh, I gotta read about this one. After eight months in captivity, emerged that the creature was an open water racing bird from Taiwan, which had escaped and flown to India. Incredible. That's it. Okay. Very That's it. That's that was the whole lot of they questions. Took, they had to interrogate the pigeon for eight months to find out it's a racing pigeon. What a boring thing to race. There's like hawks, falcons, yeah. eagles, and you're like, Just yeah, let's race a, 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 a pigeon with wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking stupid. I still don't understand how they would confirm if it's a spy or not. Like, I love like, that they they blew one of their brains out though, and then left the other one. Like, like see like, what happened to your friend? You yeah. want to fess up now? <laughs> just, just pressing a, the cold steel of a revolver to his head before he he announced that he was in fact a racing pigeon. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they decided to just pop one in the fucking brain. Yeah, that is Good pretty times. goofy. Did yeah. you see Drake's wiener? Oh yeah, Drake's uh, wiener. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about Drake's fucking uh, arm flailing inflatable tube man, his fucking <laughs> CVS receipt dick, his big old fucking horse meat. Dude, he's got a slanger. I'll be the first to say it. Doesn't it doesn't look like fair. a human dick when I first saw no, it. No, like, <laughs> what's crazy is it's like, dude, that's gotta be like a it's foot like a long. Capybara and it's not even, dick or it's something. not even, a, it's not even a hard. Prosthetic. He's wasn't moving it, it around. Wasn't it that it wasn't, that people weren't sure if that was actually him in the video or someone that looked like him? It. I mean, it. I don't I think know. I haven't seen the video. He so I don't know. Did he? Yeah. He the like, only thing I saw was Aiden Ross talking about it, and Aiden Ross is not somebody I will take any information from. Yeah, he like made an Instagram like story post. He said, "I wasn't hiding my dick from the world. I was hiding the world from my dick." No Quote, fucking break. way. That's insane. Yeah. That's a real thing he said. That is that hilarious. <clears throat> you got to be pretty damn confident with your with your with your hog. To whip it around on your private jet and then post it somewhere. I wonder who, like, I feel like he he, he might have just pretended that leaked. He definitely just sent that to somebody who was yeah. like, yo, leak my dick. Yeah, post it. It's time. DMs are, DMs are dry. Time to leak my wiener. The world's ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know where to go from that. Drake's got a big yeah, old I dick. Mean, Drake penis. He's got a big dick. None of, us, none of us got a Drake dick. Kind of yeah. pisses me off that that guy's got all that money. The handsome guy, good musician, has everything, and then God also decided he needs a foot long hog. You yeah. know, he just didn't need that hog. No, he didn't he, need that. He had all he of the been, other elements. He could have been built like the rest of us, and he could have been fine. His life would be no yeah. different. Instead, they just were like, "Here's an entire fucking kielbasa." It's not fair. A smorgasbord of a cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, what was Let's the talk last? About this guy. Glad we, we talked was, about that. What was yeah. the last? That what was the last way. silly, <laughs> silly thing? I uh, yeah, um, Hank the Tank. Uh, he's a bear who has done twenty-one home invasions, and he has been arrested. Finally, what God is ass. People, what is up with people arresting animals? Yeah. <laughs> now was Hank the he Tank Chinese or was he? Yeah. Yeah. Was he Chinese or was he Russian? Which uh, one was he? Yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, once it just Hank the Tank alone caused 152 reports of conflict. Damn, and, uh, what a menace. Tw 
28 home break-ins. I thought it just said 21. Okay. Maybe he, maybe, he, Hank. maybe he did seven more since you started. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, sorry. Uh, Hank the Tank is, assumed 28 break-ins, but DNA evidence of 21 break-ins. What are they? DNA they, evidence. They paw printing him? Like, how yeah. do they know? I don't know. <laughs> a different bear didn't do the other one. She ones. also brought her kids to do that, so Hank is a woman, I suppose. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Um, Gender neutral bear. I respect. Okay. Uh, but yes, bear sir. 64F. Is it? 64 year old female bear. There's Hank no the way. Tank. Damn, that's an old I, bitch. I, I, I that's don't a know. Thick bitch. <laughs> She's getting crazy in her old age. Yeah, it's just a dementia bear. Senile bear. Senile. Her old what is, bear. In bear 64F, what, is, what does that mean? 64 female. What happened? Oh, Hank is a... Sh okay, yeah, they renamed Hank to Henrietta. That's a dumb fucking name. <laughs> Henrietta the Tank. Henrietta the Tank. <laughs> yes. Yep. It's a better name. <laughs> Terrible. Henrietta the Beretta. She has been, she has been released... With a two-gallon tub of ice cream. Let's go! <laughs> That's the only update okay. we have on Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank did home robberies, got arrested, and then was given reparations for being arrested because it is a bear and does not know what's happening. So, so just I, like I actual people that break into homes. So yes. They treat yeah. animals the same way they treat humans. That's cool. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Free tub of ice cream, and I promise you won't and, do and, it again. And, hey, don't do that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's uh, that's all the funny little silly news I could find in the ten minutes I looked before the podcast. But you know, I guess rat plagues, uh, a breaking, entering bear, and there was a theme birds. there. A lot of animals yeah. causing and, a, a yeah, lot of problems. Two pigeons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of animals causing a lot of issues uh, around the I'll, globe. I'll, I'll see if I can find some better ones for next week. I'll see if we can cook up some some wild. You need to get ones. Bob. You need to like teach Bob how to be a criminal. Get him to steal yeah. shit for you. Yeah. yeah, that's valid. Yeah, I saw this guy trained to like a crow. To pick up dollars off the street and bring them back to his apartment, hit a Were drawer full of bills. Killed? Oh, there you go. What the hell? Is <laughs> oh, this what the fuck is happening? Did I lag? Yeah, you did. You yes, and then it like all the caught street. up very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just drop bars out of nowhere. <laughs> oh no, I just I just said that there was a guy who trained a crow to pick up dollar bills off like a city street. He was getting rich off of that. That's just <laughs> fucking awesome. That's just I, smart. I, I don't know. Actually, I, crazy I, I, smart. I, I, I don't know if I'd say rich off of it. I have seen the video. It's probably like a hundred bucks. It's got like twelve dollars. <laughs> you could buy like a Big Mac with it or whatever. But it's still <laughs> pretty bad. You're getting, ass, though. getting rich as if he's got like four million dollars stuffed in a fucking briefcase <laughs> from this crow. Well, it was like it was. It looked like fucking it's still cool. Playful Monopoly money. I don't know what yeah, those bills did. mean. You know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the fuck where that was, but I do remember seeing that. Well, there's people that now, train monkeys to steal shit. Now, oh, what yeah. happens when the crow? Maybe accidentally mistakes somebody. I'm taking notes, all right? I'm taking notes on this. What if the crow <laughs> sees a man pull his wallet out and the man holds out a dollar or like a hundred dollar bill or something or even a thousand dollars? Fuck it, maybe even a million dollars he pulls out. I do have Shit, maybe bills. ten million dollars. Shit, yeah, maybe, maybe like ten million. trillion dollars. Is, is, really really is he in Zimbabwe? <laughs> He's what definitely in Zimbabwe. What if the crow swoops in and steals all that money off the man. Then what happens? He, sh he know, should. He should have. Who goes to prison? They, do they take the crow to prison? Maybe. Maybe I don't Henrietta know. They've been arresting animals was, lately. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Maybe Henrietta maybe was trained. Taiwan racing crow. Yeah, maybe Henrietta <laughs> was trained by the Chinese to break into people's <laughs> homes. Maybe those rats were Chinese rats. Then they were trying to invade maybe Australia. Joe the crow is a. Uh, he's the robber. He's in cahoots. Yeah, maybe Joe I mean, the, the rats. Is... The rats could actually be. Uh, a military thing like they used to fire over corpses over the walls of castles to get everybody sick so you could just send like a billion rat corpses off to somebody and you know yeah, I could see the CCP doing bad. something like that that's what I'm yeah. saying like maybe maybe we need to train animals to do illegal shit yeah, I, yeah you could the monkeys steal yeah. wallets and stuff that's a that's a pretty common issue in uh, I don't know some areas southeast Asia I don't know exactly what country it is but yeah the little monkeys the, the little like stepbrothers monkey with his vest on that guy he steals not a good guy. Public enemy number one. We should give a monkey meth and just see what they act like. Have they done that? <laughs> yeah, I feel like they've done that. I, I know I've seen like a video. If they where haven't they... done it. I volunteer. I mean, the, C <laughs> the CIA the had to have done that. The CIA used to just fucking give everybody crack. Yeah, I've seen videos LSD. where they give uh, like um, they'll give like monkeys like a weed brownie or something. 
I feel like people just accidentally like really get their dogs watch weed family brownies guy. all the time. Isn't that something that happens a lot? <laughs> Wait, the brownie part more? is probably more dangerous than the weed. For the dogs? Dog? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how dogs process dogs? weed, but I feel like chocolate would be would be a big scary part of that one. You should get Bob high as fuck and get him yeah. to rob someone. I'm not going to do that. First day. Bob day high first day shit home. and say rob people, rob people now. Go rob people. Yeah. Dangle like a fucking <laughs> clock in front of his face until he... He could have a cool nickname, Bob the Rob. Bobber. Bur. Yeah. Bobber the Robber. Dude, I feel like somebody's just going to kick him really hard. He's trying to steal something. Like, what could he put? He's not going to be able to grab a fucking, like, 65-inch TV. I don't, like, what do, uh, he's going to be able to grab, like, a chicken breast off the counter. Train I don't really want like, okay, blast diarrhea protein? on people's furniture. And then they yeah, get distracted. Blast shit. Yeah, just blast shit all over That's people's like his living mark. rooms. And oh, they get distracted, Bob's and then he walks Damn out it. with, like, a fucking Rolex. Yeah, like the fucking the V from Vendetta shit where there's a V every time he does something. Yeah. Except it's just a just streak of diarrhea on a couch. <laughs> Bobber was here. I want to know from the audience, do hairless cats get their buttholes stuck on shit or is that a myth? Yeah, so I you, swear you're I, making it up. You're I swear I've up. seen videos of that. I think you have like dude, a dream like, about that. You're just confusing with reality. I feel like it eventually you'd pull their entrails out if it happened enough. It's like the bottom of the pool thing. You get it's probably sucked. not I like remember, a four I remember that episode PSI million suction. ways to die. Or a thousand ways to die. I don't know whatever it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like he got his colon. too long and all he your got his, nuts he got his, come out. Then he got his scary. colon po popped out. Golem? Yeah. His colon, colon? popped golem? out by a, uh, a, a, a jacuzzi jet thing. Homemade bidet. It's kind of the opposite jet, of bidet. Jets and pools can you. be bidets for you. That would be the I worst. Would, you're gonna give everybody out of me, dude. You're gonna give everybody pink eye in that pool if you bidet your butthole. <laughs> people 100 percent do that. Oh, people shit, fart, yeah. and piss, and poop, and puke in pools all the time, bro. It's the best Damn, place to be. Are you people? <laughs> I <laughs> have been people for Hello, years. America. Dude, you are I'm never people. swimming at my house, buddy. You, 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 you want me the, in your the pool? The filter will get it. Don't worry. You, you want me in your pool? <laughs> I don't think do I want you in my pool. I don't think I want you. I thought what? Yummy was peeing in my pool when he was in there. He had, like, one of those faces of a guy face. who's peeing, and he sat like this for, like, for, like <laughs> at least, like, Bro a was good pondering. 20 seconds. Should I and he piss said, no, nah, just re just relaxing. So, all right. I don't really believe him, though. I think Yummy yeah. might have peed in my pool. I mean, pool peeing is that. relaxing, so I think so. Relaxing <laughs> that <laughs> prostate. <laughs> Amen. Let's eat mm. Applebee's dinner. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. What are you guys eating for dinner? What's for dinner tonight? Probably chicken China. breast number 5,000. I made some Dude, protein pasta, chicken queso, pasta, chicken queso, pasta. I'm eating uh, that. Uh, chicken breast with mustard. Mustard? Chicken mm. breast with mustard. Now, we can all agree that that's a good meal. All that's of a, us. That is a good meal. Can I agree that. that that's it's a good meal. It's not a great meal. combo, but there's no <laughs> calories in mustard, so it <laughs> slides down a little easier. Condiment is mm. approved, though. Why don't you buy some, like, sugar-free barbecue sauce or something? I hate that stuff. I think it tastes really? worse than I have, like, several nothing. in my fridge, and most of them are pretty good. Ugh. There's a brand uh, called... How many is several? Hughes. Uh, probably, yeah, how, like, what, how many? It's got a like wine eight. cellar, these bitches. Eight? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I don't even think I have eight things in my whole fridge. I don't know, I recently went on a rampage of just buying a bunch of sugar-free barbecue sauce because I have just kind of eaten the same oh, one. Rampage. What is it? Just seeing red in the grocery store, just fucking <laughs> ripping down have the to have buy all of these. <laughs> Where is the sugar-free? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're uh, they're pretty good, though. And they're only like 10 calories per serving for like two tablespoons, so. Hmm, that's not bad. Pretty good. There's know, a I brand like... called G. Hughes. I don't know if you've ever seen that brand. No, I've never even heard it of it. It looks like uh, Stubbs. Have you guys seen Stubbs? The fuck are you talking about? Stubbs. Have you like ever seen that too? Like the guy, Bofa? The, guy, the guy from... <laughs> isn't that the guy from Happy Gilmore? No, that's Chubbs. Oh, fuck. Stubbs is a no, brand I, of... Uh, I, I, I'm Chubbs. not good with uh, names of things. No. I don't know. It's good. Stubbs barbecue sauce. It's definitely not as good as sugary barbecue looks sauce. familiar. But uh, it's still really uh, good. I like to buy this. Like, say Dr Pepper on this one. What the fuck? Oh, it's Dr Pepper branded. That would be why. Ooh, okay. Mm. Fair that'd enough. be weird barbecue sauce. I, I, Shit, feel I like guess I've it's heard just kind of like good. cherry rub. Yeah, I feel like that'd be okay. Yeah. Cause it's just kind of like spicy cherry flavor. Yeah. I had 
this dude, he made ribs one time at this campsite, and he put fucking apple juice all over the ribs, and they were fucking amazing. Yeah, did he, like, spritz them with it? No, he just fucking doused these Dumped bitches. Dumped it? Really? Yeah. Interesting. I know, like, a lot of people, they, uh... Yeah, ooh, applesauce. Oh, dude, I applesauce they, and pork chops. I think I remember seeing crazy. that, like, uh, the apple, like, the acidity of the apple, like, breaks down the, like, the fibers in the meat, and it makes it a lot more tender. Yeah, well, a little bit. So, yeah, you can use were pineapple, those, too, Were those ribs, like, disgusting. super tender when you ate them, soup? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I've seen that the... Hmm. It gave me I'm a sure boner. It, also, it would definitely also, like, caramelize ooh. a bit, because there's a lot of natural sugar in, yeah. in that, so it would caramelize, give it a little, little crunch. God, no, oh, I'm yeah. hungry. I haven't Falling off yet. the bone, crunchy, sweet, delicious. Do you like? Do you, you guys like your ribs like fall off the bone? Like, like you could just pull the bone out of it when it's sitting there, or do you like to have to work at it a little bit? I like fall off the bone because that usually means I, the I meat like is a, a good middle ground. Yeah. I don't want it to where it's like the meat is like fucking liquid, floppy. Basically. Yeah, like I have pork. to yeah. clean about. I have to come clean about this rib conversation. Do you not like I ribs? Have, uh -oh. I have never had ribs what you just what two you wait until the end of the podcast you live in, to admit that you live in missouri is uh, literally famous uh, for ribs the barbecue i've had has never had ribs i've never had so missouri? Have barbecue. that's bananas no that's missouri ribs. is literally famous for ribs i've never had ribs that's, that's fucking crazy, crazy. I'm Can I stay here? Shocked. Am I still allowed? Yeah, you yeah. just have to go try them. If you, you come, come back after you had, if you if you came out <sighs> after you tried them and you said I don't like them, then you got to go. You're out oh, of I know I'm gonna like but, them. I I could put okay. away some meat. Now I have a I question. I have a question. You're, you're okay. definitely gonna like them. Yeah. I have a question. Have you ever eaten a McRib? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Never had a McRib. <laughs> I saw I was a sign say, if your that your first it's rib experience is a McRib. <laughs> no, no. I know it's supposed to be good, but no. That I honestly I feel like. I feel like a McRib would be a good starting point because you're like, all right, I've had ribs, <laughs> and it's it, not ribs. <laughs> I've had I've had There's something that nothing. is called rib, rib point, point. Of, but uh, it's only up from here. So okay. yeah. the government made the McRib. Yeah, going from a going McRib from... to like traditional fucking Southern rib cooking. Yeah, it's just yeah. wild. Like you never wanted to be like, okay, I'm gonna order ribs this time. I don't think I've ever really had ribs that were like bad. I mean, I've had ribs that yeah. weren't great, but not like even when oh, you make fuck. them yourself, they're fucking insane. I'm not good. huge on uh on um, pork ribs. The ones that have those little tiny I circular like bones. I like yeah, you just have to like. Ribs. I like beef ribs, but if you uh, if you do like a light boil on ribs before, like on pork ribs, and then you uh, then you like barbecue them, they're pretty fucking tender. It's good, but then they don't get yeah. like. Unless you boil them in too long, then they get like that, like it's they fall off the bone, but it's like rubbery and it's not not good. Mm. But uh, yeah, if you give them like a little a light boil, just to, like cook the meat, almost like basically sous viding them essentially, yeah. but but they're not well, in a bag. Then barbecue them, they're they're so good. Mm. Would you say you guys' first experience to ribs was like because it was made in the house, or did you only get them out? Did like your family cook ribs? My dad used to always cook ribs. But uh, I loved them when I was a kid. So there's. Yeah. Uh, I'm like sure you guys have. Or TGF do you guys have Montana's? Chilies no. or something I don't like think that. So. You guys don't have Montana's? Okay. Uh, Montana's like this. It's like shitty ass barbecue. But uh, when I was six yeah. years old, my parents took me and my sister, whatever, to Montana's. And my mom ordered me a whole rack of ribs and fries. And the lady was like, that's silly. He's never going to eat that. And I ate the whole fucking thing. And the chef came out to meet me. He didn't believe. He didn't Fuck believe that, that some little idiot. Shit. He didn't believe that some little idiot just ate an entire rack of ribs at the age That's of six and awesome. fries. Yeah, it's fucking a goofy ass. Yeah, eating ribs as a kid is so funny because it's just like messy. Just oh, you do. You don't care. You're like, you, just, like, you got yeah, You got barbecue sauce. I still don't ass, care, dude. I don't, like, dog I don't fucking food. wipe my face off or my fingers until I'm done. Oh, no. Done. no you yeah. don't do it until you're done. That's right. That's how yeah. I'm with wings. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is no like point. Motherfuckers that, like, have yeah. one little nibble and then just, like, napkin and little wet nap on the wipe. Yeah. yeah. No. It's like, bro, I'm going to punch you. Lick it off your fingers like a man. Dude, the way some people eat chicken wings actually freaks me out. Those motherfuckers that do, like, the long ways where they just... And they oh, suction yeah. the whole dude, people that do that are off. Fucked up. Oh, dude, you don't they even like know what ten... you're getting, bro. You dude, don't you even... get like ten. I like to do the twist, there. where you like twist the the bones. I, I just like go to see you do the <laughs> twist, and then pull, I, I sometimes you got to poke the little middle piece through. There would be a hum, and then give it a little poke, and then. And I usually easy. well, the thing is, I, I twist it because the bone like snaps apart. 
And then you could just pull one bone and then just eat around the other bone. That's a yeah. weird cannibal well, conversation. Be a bit of a, I'm I just, I just hate the fucking, <laughs> the little. Oh yeah, that's so gone. nasty. You yeah. have like, no dude, idea you what you're getting. Tasting that bro. thing too, you're just getting the whole fucking. Yeah. What is your guys' favorite, uh, like preferred wing sauce? Honey sriracha. Ooh, honey I like sriracha. I don't, I don't think I've ever I was gonna that. say, a, I was gonna say a spicy honey garlic, but I guess Ooh, that's I like spicy garlic, garlic is yeah. good. Spicy. You garlic can never go wrong with buffalo. Garlic parm. Garlic Just parm, classic honey, buffalo. I'm not a fan of the garlic parm. Oh, dude, I like that. Like, I forget what it's called. It might just be like some mild barbecues, but it's like it's ketchup based, but it's got a little bit of spice to it. So it's like a ketchup based yeah. barbecue sauce, but it's got a little bit, of, a little tang in there, a little bite. Spicy right ketchup. Yeah, a little no. bit of spice. It's always. Good. Yeah, like, I like my wings to be like a little spicy. Based, I don't like to be crazy hot or anything, but no, I like no. insane hot wings. Really? Sometimes, if I'm in the mood to be a little, little quirky. As long as I get a little bit of ranch with it, I'll, I'll eat pretty much any flavor. Oh yeah, flavor. gotta have ranch. Yeah, good ranch. ranch oh, I do like I do like blue cheese ranch. dressing too. I don't hate blue cheese. No. I'm more of a ranch guy though. Eat I do dick, not like blue Blarg. cheese. My only issue with blue cheese dressing is when you get an actual chunk of blue cheese and it's like I'm looking for a dressing, not a chunk, and it's just weird. Not mold, when you get, bitch. Yeah, oh. when you get like a piece of cheese in your in your thing, it's yeah. like, I don't know. Like imagine you guys fuck with blueberry drinking, cheese. Bl wait, what? Blueberry Blue cheese? Oh, oh like Gruyere or whatever. No, whatever the fuck it's what called. Yeah, I've I got seen that, but some, I tried like, it. Boar's head blueberry cheese the other day. Oh boy, that shit was delicious. Yeah, I ate uh, that whole out, log. Outdoor boys, he yeah. eats that. It's sometimes. always like the log. It's always like the log, and it's covered in like the so food good. on the outside. Yeah, I got. I always get like a a raspberry goat cheese one, and that shit goes so hard. Mm. It's insane. Yeah, it was like uh, blueberry goat cheese. Yeah, oh, that'd be no. so good. Whoa. I've never had blueberry. I've never even seen it, actually. I've only seen, like, raspberry and, like... I love actually, blueberries. I've only seen raspberry. It's good. Actually, I saw a peach I'm one I'm fucking once, hungry, I dude. I know. Okay. You guys are making <laughs> me <laughs> hungry as Let's go get dinner, then. It's <laughs> been an hour. Dinner. dinner right now. Meet up, in, uh, meet up in Delaware. <laughs> Chat, everyone tell us your favorite meal, or tell us something cursed that you eat, or have eaten. Tell Ooh, us about your, I like, think, your oh, most I think that's guy a, that's a That's a fun one. We should, uh... We should save that for like a tweet before a podcast to tell people to give us the worst food they've ever eaten cursed and like, yeah, the like most send cursed us pictures food. of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah if they have photos, and then uh, we'll we'll review them. We'll, rate we'll do them. that for next one. Yeah. yeah, I think that'd be a fun time. But for this one, tell us uh, what you'd have for your last meal. How's that? All right, I like that. You about to eat shit and die? Go into the afterlife. What do you want? Yeah. You better the get Goons podcast is what I want as my last meal. I like want to eat subscribe. three tubs of gamer Grand sauce. Grandpa's ashes. ashes. You, you tell Grandpa's ashes Grand is Tell the prisoner guards that you want Grandpa's ashes YouTube. on your chicken. YouTube.com. Subscribe and comment, goons. They are we already contractually have obligated to give you gamer subs in prison if you ask mm -hmm. for it. Yep. Goons. Oh. Grandpa's ashes is back in stock. Go buy it. Yep. The internet. Goons. Is a band. Okay, goodbye. Code goons. Know.